Five beaches. Four were wonderful. One, not so much. Join us to find out what we thought of each of the five. White Cap Beach is located on North Padre Island and what's really cool about it is you can drive on it. It's named after the white sands that you find on the beach. And if there's one thing that I could tell you to watch out for, it's jellyfish. They tend to kind of wash up on shore here. So watch your toes. at the McGee Beach, literally downtown Corpus Christi, and the name is McGee Beach. It used to be called South Beach, which is kind of interesting, but apparently this area was redeveloped by a guy named Thomas McGee, and so here we are. The other thing you're gonna notice is some Islander logos and the Islander Pavilion and things like that, and that's not just, you know, because there's islands around here, right? Uh, what is it? <laughs> it's the name of the mascot for the Texas A&M Corpus Christi. I should have known. Had to do something <laughs> with football or a university because we're in Texas, man. Football's everything. Well, this year, basketball, they did a great job and made it Look at into you. the NCAA tournament. tournament. Yeah, they sure did. This is a great little urban beach area. And can I say this, there's a dog park right there. <laughs> there is, and we were pretty excited about that. We do come down here with our little fur baby, and yes. that is important for us. <laughs> Be sure to check your weather report before going to any of the Coastal Bend beaches. Sometimes it's less than ideal. This day was especially windy. It's too bad there's not a slight breeze today. Human kite! I'm sure glad I spent an hour on my hair this morning. This is the third hat that Mark's worn because two flew away. And little did we know we were going to end up fighting the elements. The winds were crazy and those people on the beach, they were still in the water, they're hanging out getting sun, yep. I, they're dedicated. Uh, 25 to 35 miles an hour with gusts to 40 miles per hour, which is pretty much the way she speaks. She, she speaks 25 to 30 and then she has gusts to 40, so, you know, um, I'm used to it, I guess. I'm oh. <laughs> no, just kidding. Rockport Beach is one of the highest rated beaches on the Gulf Coast in Texas. It's awesome and we of course are standing in front of the iconic Big Blue Crab. It all started in 1957 over at Dorothy's Cafe, moved around and then Harvey in 2017 blew it away. So they commissioned an artist, he put it up, they moved it around a little bit, tilted it <laughs> down and we think it's really super cool. Zoe does too, I think. <laughs> There's a bunch of commemorative bricks as well in front of us. And it's <laughs> take two. Oops, our little gimbal and camera got blown down, but we're back. And now we're gonna hang on to this. It is a little <laughs> bit windy today. So here's the crab, here's us, and uh, here's Zoe.
Port Aransas Beach is one of our favorites in the area. Now this beach is actually on the Gulf Coast, so you can find surfers and things like that. It's also dog friendly, you can drive on it. It's just a really chill place to hang out. And I gotta tell you, the dogs absolutely love it, especially our little Zoe. I'm pretty sure she likes the beach. Going she wants, nuts. Look at all the sand on you now, Zoe. She's having a good time. That's what I would do if I were you. She put half the beach in her water bowl. Of course, a beach is a great place to chill out with a book, unless you have somebody who's looking for your attention. <laughs> and like we said, there's all sorts of water sports that happen here. And so definitely come on down and enjoy in whatever way you love to experience the beach. And if you brought the dog to the beach, there is a dog wash nearby. In minutes. Okay. And so it's all hyperallergenic, it's all natural, it's like shampoo, conditioner. You can rinse your dog, you can blow dry the dog. It's a labradoodle? She's a uh, Portuguese water dog. So pretty. What's your name? That's Zoe. Zoe. So it's cash or card, ten dollars. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Right. Thank you. Boy, Zoe. How good does that feel? Cover your eyes so you don't get soap in them. There you go. And all that's free of charge. What do you think? I tell you, this is an awesome little, how cool would be to have one of these at the house. A little conditioner. You mean nice and soft. We've got to make sure we get all the soap off. That's the most important thing. For the beach in the area we really don't recommend. North Beach has a weird vibe to it. Honestly, it feels a little bit forgotten and neglected. Hey, we are coming to you from North Beach in Corpus Christi. North Beach is um, a completely different deal than any other beach. Um, it's a lot more, uh, let's say, organic <laughs> and uh, not quite as well kept, that sort of thing. But you still have the sand and you still have the water. We did see where there was a plan for development to happen and for this area to kind of get revitalized and protected. And we think if they ever go that route, it'll be super cool. But you can tell it's neglected right now. It's just not really a great destination. I mean, if you're in the area, certainly they do have some playgrounds and things like that, but we were ready to leave. We're not saying she's spoiled. <laughs> So that was our take on five beaches in the Coastal Bend area of Texas. What do you think? Have you been to any of these beaches? Leave us a comment below as to which your favorite is and if there's any that you don't recommend. We are Mark and Jackie Tate with The Empty Nester Life. And hey, if you're looking for a dog-friendly beach in the area, make sure you watch this video next.